So I go to the store. I go to the store. So I'm gonna go to the store real quick. Oh, pretty good. Well, you are right. playing Watson in a stage version of Sherlock Holmes. Which is awesome. Guys. So cool. One of my favorites. So have you perfected your British accent yet? We're working on it. Okay. Um, it's been a bit of a process. We started with the more stereotypical Watson. He's educated, he was an officer in the military. So we came from a very proper family. Hit your T's, everything is up here. Ooh. But then, just to mess with it, it kind of creates something original. The director was like, hey, make it more grungy. Mm -hmm. This is like, oh, you want to get a little bit more South London. Oh, eh? I like that. You want to take it down here and drop some T's and D's. And so now we've kind of found a bit of a, a middle ground where I Watson is still edgy great. Middle, middle ground. ground. You hit some T's, some D's. Can but I just hear you say lovely? Because lovely. I say it all the time. What, lovely? Lovely. Lovely. You look it's quite lovely, lovely today. Quite, thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank you, sir. Well, good, sir. <laughs> we would like to judge for ourselves how your British accent is. So, we have three real British people on oh, our great. staff right over here. Right there. You do? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> we would like really you here. So, we would like you to give us your best accent and they will decide just how well you've done. All right, how about, it's a lot of like British babble. I'll give you a line from, uh, a line from the show. Okay, okay. Basically, I'm trying to tell Sherlock, like, hey, since you want to smoke your pipe, I'm going to leave. Okay. And he says it like, well, since you clearly prefer the company of yesterday's pipe plugs and dolls, all we stewed into a secondhand shag with the stench of a burning, rotting hedgehog, I shall leave you be. <laughs> Golly good. Very good. Golly good. Tip your tea if that was a thumbs up. Thumbs up, Mars. Score the call, I love our slang. I love that I still I have my New York accent. Ax. I love I that. Love so if I hang out with my mom too long, I'll be like, I need some coffee. I'm gonna make a phone call. Like, <laughs> <laughs> garbage. It's out of control. Yeah. Uh, welcome from England, right? Yes. Now you're speaking to us in an American accent. No, not now. British. Yeah. Oh, right now. Oh, it's out of practice, so maybe it doesn't sound convincing. Say, uh, say something in, in it with your British accent, and say something in American accent. Um, <laughs> what do I say in British? I'll, I'll just say that. I'm going to talk the rest of the interview in British. This is how I talk. I'm from London, um, <laughs> but most of the time I talk like this on the show, which sounds pretty bad to me now when I switch. <laughs> I'm not ready to switch. That's awesome. So, what? Why do you switch and sometimes stay in an American accent? So, I basically stay in it the whole time that we're shooting the show, just because it's easier for me. So, I don't get to a point on set where they say "rolling" and I'm like, "Oh, now I've got to do it." Like, oh. they just then right. think, "Oh, I sound stupid." <laughs> right, so, right. Uh, that's that's stupid. how I keep peace of mind. How do we get Lonnie to stop then? Because most of the time she stays in a British accent, even though she ain't from. What are you talking about, Judy? <laughs> Wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah, right. I felt like well, I was I'm 10% to... British, so, but I'm not. No, she really is. Okay. <laughs> she is. Yeah. Wow. All right, so you're not just British. I hear that you're also half Brazilian. Ooh. I am indeed. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. 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 My mom's from Brazil, but and actually I'm going back this December for the first time in a little while. Oh wow! But it's been a long time since I've been, and I'm just looking forward to getting back, seeing the family. There's a Brazilian fizzy drink, which is like the thing that I most miss about Brazil, pretty much. Oh so my gosh! That was my next question. I wanted to see, you know, what you missed growing since you were growing up there. What did you miss so much about it? Yeah. That's it. That, the the food and the drink, but the Guarana is like a national drink in okay. Brazil. So it like sponsors the soccer team. Guarana. Just say it Look again. Look at that. Go for it. Good. Guarana. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 Guarana. I absolutely love your British accent, but <laughs> did the American accent come easy to you? No, no. So I pretty much stay in the um, accent throughout throughout filming. So the first, most of the crew didn't realize I was British until we wrapped the wow. pilot. Wow. So Whoa. it was, yeah, it was, because when we finished, I started talking normally and everything. Yeah. Was like, Wait, can you do it now? Yeah, I want to hear, yeah, I want to yeah, hear, yeah, I want to yeah. hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I would, yeah, so I'd go to the, um, <laughs> so I, uh, hold on. Say, so I go <laughs> to the store. I go, I go to, to the store. store. So I'm going to go to the store real quick. Oh, pretty good. That is scary. Good. Wait, wait. It even has a little swag yeah. up in there. I don't, I'm yeah. going to go yeah. to the store real quick. I'm going to go to the store real quick. So we would go, um, we go to uh, Rob, the director. He take me to um, South Central LA. Okay. And, and we, and we uh, he directed the pilot and he took me down to Crenshaw. <laughs> do you have to like concentrate? It doesn't, it, like, how do you do that? For the pilot, I did, yeah, it was, it was just, I'd listen to only LA artists. I'd listen to only 
Okay. Californian um, rap artists and stuff and just sticking it and just stay with it. And now you only watch the real and you get that accent down. <laughs>